picks from the six. Uh, today we're going to try to do these chocolate bombs. Uh, yeah, their brand name is uh, Cookie Dough Bites, chocolate bomb. So there's three flavors. Uh, the first flavor is the silver one. That's the birthday cake. And as you can see in the picture, the, the chocolate will melt and the mushrooms and the cookies will be there. Um, yeah, so it's pretty nice. So that's the cookie. That's the birthday. Happy birthday one. And then we have the gold one is the chocolate chip one. And the brown one is the brownie one. Oh, it makes sense, right? All right, so that's it's pretty easy process. So you grab your milk here. You have your milk. And then you got to fill the cup. Just enough room for for the ball to, to settle in. And we have to do it three times because we're doing three at once, right? So just be just before the the edge. So I'll give it about a, like a finger worth of edge. I'll show you right now if I can show you. See right there, just about an edge off the finger. Uh, okay, and then we have our trusty pot right here. Remember, guys, when you're working with milk, when you warm it up, it's gonna it's gonna expand. So you have to have a good keen eye watching it. All right, here we go. That's our first one. I'm gonna do a second one right now. Let me just I'll do it like this so you can see that I'm actually doing work. Doo -doo -doo. And there it is. That's two. That's two. Okay, we're gonna get off screen for a second to dump it in the, the pot. And then one more. And we're gonna heat it up and then we're gonna see the magic happen. Oh yeah. Here we go. Three. Alright, so we throw that in there as well. Oh, it's gonna get really good really fast okay so now we finished our milk so now we have to prepare the chocolate bombs okay uh, to prepare the chocolate bombs you just simply peel the the foil off this is amazing so you peel the foil off so i'll show you how one can look so this is the birthday one so you see it says a chocolate with a with a pairing thing with all the fillings inside here we'll throw it in here boom that's one and then let's do the other one three of them so so to not get confused we're gonna put the wrapper near the cup i will show you the finished product after we're gonna put the wrapper next to to there so you know pretty cool this is my first time in a long time being in the kitchen i used to film the kitchen for food reviews and stuff like that but it was uh not a good lighting but i guess today is a good lighting day but yeah so we got two there this is our brownie one and then our last one is a chocolate chip one and uh we're just gonna have a great time trying it here all right so okay let's go i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna speed past this i guess <laughs> maybe i'll voice over this whole video so this is the cookie cookies and cream so there you go boom so we have three chocolate balls with three different flavors in here so we're gonna start uh, let me just scan out of here so you can see me doing this uh, uh, other stuff oh look at that oh my god let's see here oh yeah there's the milk and we're gonna put it on here and we're just gonna hold up and see what happens all right so oops i'm a little offset <laughs> all right there you go but yeah there's the milk you should just watch the milk <laughs> but yeah we're just here chilling right now waiting for the milk to, to heat up and it's very careful you have to keep your eye on the milk because it's gonna fly it's gonna fly really fast so you need to be ready to to take it out so just always you know have your thermometer or your finger watching it you know you don't want it to to go too fast maybe we have to put it in a, a bigger pot but we're going to try our best to do it but yeah this is this is uh jose picks from the six 
follow us here. Thank you very much. We're just doing, I'm just putting it on a, on a low heat so we'll be ready for, for a thing. This will be fast forward. So here you go, there's your milk. There's everything, beautiful, you know. Just waiting for it to heat up. Uh, yeah, so this will be fast process already. I'm gonna be zoomed out. But yeah, we're just waiting for it. Um, I'll see you next in the finished review, okay? See you next time. Hey guys, we're, we're back. Uh, so the milk got warm. So now I'm gonna just pour it in to the thing. So this one is the chocolate chip. So we're gonna pour it in there. Hopefully it'll show that it's melting. All right, so we just pour it up to there. A little bit of that. And then uh, we have a spoon just in case. And then we got another one. This is the brownie. We just pour it in there. Very nice. See it melt eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> if we did it correctly. <laughs> and then this is the birthday cake one. Doo -doo -doo. I don't know how long it's gonna be. It's my first try doing these kind because the other ones usually they uh, melt right away. If we need assistance, that's why we have the the what you call the the spoon. Okay, so you see this one already broke the seal, so we're just gonna help it out a little bit. I'm gonna press on it. Yeah, look at that. There it is. Wow. There it is. That's the, the cookie one. Cookie hot chocolate. Very nice. Yes, very nice. There we go. It's all good now with the marshmallows. And then this one should be the brownie. Look, it's very nice and soft. Very nice and soft. So you can break it down faster. Well, maybe I put a little too much milk because of the buoyancy, right? But yeah, it's delicious. You don't need to add sugar or anything. There you go. The brownie one is there. You, I don't see any brownie pieces. Maybe they're all on the bottom. Let's see. Oh, there's, there's no, no. It's just chocolate. That one. Okay. I guess that's the, the chocolate one. Okay. The other one you can see the cookie bits, right here. Oh uh, yeah. And then the last one is the chocolate chip. Oh, again, I overfilled it. Mm, it's delicious. Oh, overfilled still. Just crack it open there. So yeah, so there you go. There's all three flavors now. That's the thing. This is the chocolate chip. We just gotta mix it up. Mix, mix it up good and then we're gonna do the testing right after this just gotta make all the hot chocolates in the world look at that beautiful beautiful less than five minutes guys less than five if you wanted to wait you could have waited in a slow process but I'm not like that you gotta do the review I don't want to do no time skip all right so yeah we got them all all ready to go hot chocolate here you go. So next time I see you, we're going to be testing them. All right. Here we go. All right. Welcome back to Pick from the Six. We're going to try the hot chocolates. So the, the, the gray one or silver one, I already tied it up, uh, is the birthday one. So let's, let's test it out. Let's test it out, guys. It's very nice. Mmm. Delicious. These are nice cold for a cold day today in Toronto. Not bad, not bad. Then I'm going to compare it to the other one. And this one doesn't taste like cake. I, I think the cake part got melted in disintegration because I don't feel it. It says it has like little bits and pieces, but I guess it got disintegrated. Well, on to the next one, the brownie one. Here we go. Let's go. But it's very nice. You don't need to add any added sugar or anything. Mmm, 
brownie is better. Nice chocolate taste. It is very nice, very nice, guys. So far, the brownie is the winner for me. And then our final one. Sorry, the camera's not straight. <laughs> final one. The chocolate chip. So here we go. Chocolate chip. Ah, chocolate chip is the least of my favorites here. It's the least of my favorite. Um, so the birthday cake is more flavorful than the chocolate chip. Chocolate chip one is like tasting like a regular hot chocolate. There's no extra flavoring here. I think it got melted during the process because it's like um, got disintegrated. So that's why maybe I'll have to try it again when we got disintegrated. Okay, there you go. Now we have it. We have it now. It's, a, it's very nice. But still, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna rank them. So the first one, the brownie. It's very nice. The brownie is very nice. Second, birthday cake. Very good too. Last but not leastly, the chocolate chip one. But they're all good for a nice hot, day, uh, you know, hot drink on a cold winter night here in Canada. It's already minus 12 and it's my day off. So, you know, I wanted to show you this nice hot chocolate drink for you. And it was pretty cheap too. It was only $5 for three chocolate bombs. Not bad. Uh, but this is Jose from Picks from the Six saying goodbye. I'm gonna go enjoy my hot chocolate, maybe watch some Netflix, and uh, just chill now. Thank you very much. See you next time. Peace.